Antoine Boudarin's namesake in New York is the exemplar of Provençal cooking. He was born in Saint-Rémy-de-Provence in the same farmhouse that had housed his family for five centuries. His cooking reflects this, a mixture of French, Italian, and Mediterranean, like poached striped bass and vegetables. The poaching liquid is a courbillon started with water, olive oil, white wine, and assorted vegetables. Translator Marc Cosnard de Closet. Leaks. A little bit of yellow squash. It's good to use things that are seasonal vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's very important also. Fresh herbs. It's very important in Provence. There are lots of fresh herbs. There's some thyme and rosemary. Some chives. And some tomatoes. I found some nice small tomatoes on the market. Even though it's, I always put some dried herbe de Provence. It adds an extra touch. We're going to let this all cook for about 10 minutes. Before the end, we'll add the fish. We usually use cod. I love cod. Fresh cod. I found some striped bass today. So many of the bass. I really like this. It's seasonal. It's good to use your imagination and find what's best in the market. It doesn't matter which fish you use, as long as it's a white fish, it's more or less the same. So, so you ask your fishmonger to uh, prepare this for you. It's been scaled. And I like to leave the skin. And when you serve it, you can take the skin when you serve it. It's more natural. So I'm just going to cut this filet in half. It's very important. With my knife, I'm going to take out the small bones that are in the center. They're very easy to find. There's a little red line that tells you where all the bones are. Just follow that little red line, and then all the uh, bones are out. So I put the fish into the vegetable broth. And I turn down the heat a little bit. We want it to cook slowly once the fish is in. And I put a little bit more olive oil. I'm going to put a sprig of fresh parsley in too. And I let this cook. About five or six minutes. When it's cooked on one side, then I'll turn it over. Now the chef prepares aioli. So now I'm going to make aioli. It's a, in Provence, it's a very special, almost sacred dish. So we start at the beginning. We make egg yolks, 
Dans les temps anciens, la yoli se faisait euh, plus souvent avec euh, des pommes de terre. Les yoli étaient faits avec des pommes de terre, qui étaient cuites dans le cours de l'eau. Et évidemment, nous n'utilisaient pas la moutarde de l'eau. Et nous n'utilisions pas la moutarde de l'eau, mais aujourd'hui, nous l'utilisons. C'est facile. Et en tout cas, c'est... Donc, deux yolis. Je vais mettre un peu de moutarde. Now the most important flavoring in any aioli, sometimes called the vanilla of Provence, garlic. Finally, a good deal of olive oil. So it's working well here, so this is reassuring for me. I know that everything is fine. I'm in good spirits. Voilà, il y en a assez, là, donc pour quatre personnes. Il y en a assez, là, pour quatre personnes. Donc, si je vais mettre, je vais mettre un petit peu de sel. Un petit peu de sel. Et... Je vais couper un petit peu de poids. Un petit peu de poids. Les fiches et les végétables sont remis de la broth avant la présentation. Thank you. 